kind of rating the guys and their strengths and weaknesses to diving into the spring recruit. What uh, what pleased you about those 15 practices? Well, I think we took a lot of steps forward in the understanding of technique and scheme. And, uh, I think the whole group collectively got better. I think uh, we had some great competition, great competition. It's still going on. Do you have a lot of interchangeable parts, or do you – you have them plugged in now where you want them? No, the, the, I think the strength of the scheme is that we can have interchangeable parts, and it's, it's part of the flexibility of the scheme. So uh, the outside backers are more interchangeable than the inside. But the inside, uh, that whole conversation changes when you get to third down. Coach, I know Urban seemed pretty happy about Dallas Gant um, when he got in here. What made him ready to kind of get a, a, get a good look this spring? Well, I think Dallas is such a mature young man. He really is mature, he's very business-like, and he did everything, he went about it right. Now, he made the freshman mistakes that you're gonna make, he technically sh should still be in high school. Uh, but he's such a mature young man, and it means so much to him that he really, he had a lot of growth, and, and school will we'll benefit that down the road. He'll benefit from that down the road. How, do, how much does that benefit a player when he gets that early head start? And gets there, that semester under his belt. There is nothing like experience, and you just got that experience out of the way that the, the two others that are coming in don't have. Uh, so he's already a little bit ahead because he's had the experience of what it's like to go to class and to football. And I think that's the biggest challenge of these these young kids coming in. That they, they got to learn to balance their time and energy, and that, that that's hard. That's a learned, and I think Dallas is ahead of that. I know you've said before that Tufts a leader of that linebacker room, but with him being injured, have you seen anyone else this spring really step up and make themselves a leader as well? Yeah, I think the, 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 some of the personalities lead more. Keandre's got a, a, a very uh, strong personality in the room. Uh, Malik is a, is a playmaker that's got a lot of people uh, looking at him. Uh, Barron's a young man, and Justin Hilliard are both Mike backers that are in charge and in front of everybody a lot. Uh, so we had a bunch of guys take steps in leadership, uh, but even Tough is, is growing into that role. So these young men are, uh, it, it's exciting to watch them and, and take their leadership role. And, and we talk about leadership being more about actions and words, and I think that's uh, kind of what they're trying to do. How like Malik. close is this group now that you know, there's new players in there, there's new leadership? How close are they, how much are they interacting with, with each other and maybe pushing each other? The, the competition is a natural, is going to push them and drive them to, to get better. But this is a good group of like-minded young men, and they really, you can tell when a group likes each other and has that chemistry, and this group has it. Is Malik strictly outside now? Uh, on first and second down, yes. Third down is when he takes over in, in the mic back, but that's a whole different conversation. It's a, it's a different animal. And Malik is uh, is technically the Mike backer in third down, but that's a little bit different role. And Barron's in the middle, primarily. Or As yeah, he is now. After Tough got hurt, we moved him in. We started him outside. Right. And so he's a guy that can flip a little bit. So can Justin. At the end of last year, Justin was out there at Will too. So right, right. There's a couple guys that can go Mike and Will, but for the most part, we're trying to switch to the outside and leave the inside alone. So if Tough if Tough came back earlier than expected, could Barring feasibly move? back outside Baron or Justin could yeah and that's one of the the, the the great things about the flexibility of the defense in the scheme is that uh, if we can teach them and train them right that they have that ability to move out there so you put your next best player out there not just the next guy that knows will if that makes sense Malik came out a little earlier than the other linebackers of who did Malik came out a little earlier than some of the other linebackers of the spring game is he more solidified as a starter at no point? that was really based on he had more game reps game experience than the others and that's what we were trying to do is kind of uh, kind of equate the room to where Malik has game reps and others didn't so we were trying to give others those reps I listened back to one of your interviews uh, just recently and I heard you talk about 